Either through age, surgery, or even childbirth, women can experience changes in their body that result in pain and discomfort. Boca Raton Regional Hospital is using new advanced technology to address some of these problems. Dr. Frank Sarasano is here to explain more. Hello, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, explain what is a pelvic organ prolapse. With age or with child childbearing, women can have prolapse of their pelvic organs through the vaginal introidal margin, which means the uterus can more or less fall out. Wow, what is the traditional treatment for that? Traditionally, the uterus is actually lifted and sutures are placed to enhance the support for the uterus or the top of the vagina. Okay, and for this, Boca Raton Regional Hospital has a new robotic surgical system. It's actually an advance of minimally invasive procedures that are already in place. How is it an improvement? Well, traditionally, surgeons use an abdominal incision to restore the ligaments and tendons that support the uterus or the top of the vagina. Now that incision can be replaced with a very small incision, often smaller than the size of a dime. And using instruments through those incisions for the right hand and the left hand, the surgeon can actually replace those ligaments and tendons supporting the uterus. How do you determine who's a candidate for this procedure? In general, any patient that has prolapse is a candidate for a robotic approach. Uh, but I think the issue is whether or not there are enough trained physicians to actually do the procedure. So would you recommend that most patients get the robotic if there were a surgeon available that was trained? I think that the robotic approach should be considered in all patients with pelvic prolapse and whether or not the institutions available have the equipment and whether or not the physicians are trained I, I think is really the issue. How does it impact recovery time? Is that one of the benefits? A very big benefit of robotic laparoscopy over traditional incisions is that the hospital stay is generally outpatient, which is defined as less than 24 hours. And what about scarring? Scarring is also much improved because, as you might imagine, the size of a large incision, which creates a scar, is a lot, is, is a lot more significant than a, an incision the size of a dime. And any complications with using the robotics as opposed to some of the other procedures? Complications can occur with robotic surgery as with any surgery, but in general, our blood loss is lower, our hospital stay is lower. If the incision is smaller, the risk for infection, bleeding, and, uh, and opening of the wound is also significantly reduced. And you mentioned the training. Are more surgeons being trained in this type of technology? I think the training programs of residency and internship are beginning to apply robotic laparoscopy to their caseload, but I think it's going to be another five to ten years before it becomes universally available. Okay, thank you so much. Boca Raton Regional Hospital sponsors our expert and underwrites our Ask the Doctor feature.